What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today we have an unboxing here. This is a care package sent to me from Spec5, a new channel partner. Um, really excited to work with them. Uh, they have some really cool products that I can't wait to get into this year. And uh, with this partnership, I really think that we're going to have a lot of fun as well as uh, learn a lot. And uh, I just their products are just really premium from what I've seen. I can't wait to get my hands on it and start testing it for you guys. And uh, this is going to open the door for the ATAC stuff as well as... Uh, upgrading our mesh tastic um uh content here on the channel so nevertheless let's go ahead and open this guy up this one oh peanuts i think the first time i did unboxing there's like peanuts in it that's really cool all right let's see what we got here it's like an antenna Okay, so I can set this on a tenner here. Thank you for your gift. What is this? I don't even know what this is. What is this thing? What? I have no idea what this is. I'm gonna have to look this up. This looks really cool. What's this feel like? This feels like oh, these are buttons. Okay. Look at this. What is this? All right. So we're gonna put this aside because I have no idea what this even is. But excited. A couple things here. Whoa! What? What is this? No way! This looks so cool. I'm pretty sure, all right, this is definitely a mesh-tastic device for sure. Look at this thing. It's like a phone. What? I, I need to, I have no, I, I'm telling you guys, I'm brand new to this stuff, so I have no idea what they sent me. I, I'm pretty sure this is a mesh-tastic device. I cannot wait to get into this stuff and actually program it. This is sick. It's like a mini. It was like a mini iPhone. I can't even show you my iPhone because I'm recording with it. Like, that's so cool looking. All right, we gotta look into what this stuff actually is. Oh, this is beefy. What is this? Look at this. So whoa, this thing is cool looking. All right, it's solar pa solar panel. What? Dude, I just built, I had a video on my channel where I built a tenna that's powered by the, uh, has a solar panel on it and everything. This is so much easier and more convenient. This is cool. Oh, I should not turn on what a tenna. I'm guessing that's what the tenna was for, was for this guy. Wow, look at these gadgets. I have no idea. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this guy. This is some cool stuff, guys. Big, big shout out to Spec5 for sending the stuff out. I cannot wait to work with you guys and get to know your products more and do some testing and really go uh, all in with the off-grid comms on this channel. Look how cool. Look, this thing is like, how can I compare it? So here, I guess we could do a Flipper Zero comparison. A lot of people know what the Flipper Zero is like. So this, I'm going to compare this to a, a T-Echo. I mean, this is, look, look at the size difference. Wow, this thing is beefy. I figured out what one of these things are. So this is a called the uh, Copilot from Spec5. So this, I don't know if you see my other videos where I attach a mesh-tastic device on a drone and I fly it up. They built their own, and it, this thing is way beefier than what I had and what I created. So this is a ready-to-go, plug it on your drone and have a mesh-tastic tower or uh, any kind of LoRa radio uh, assistant, like, it's a, it's just ready to go so that's so cool so it's like if you want if you don't want to go all out and design a, uh, a project and set it up and put velcro or put something up they have a ready to go like plug and play like this is sick so this is called the co-pilot so you plug put it on your drone you fly it up and you got a mesh tastic uh device so i'll sh show a clip of my the from one i built where it was just a uh I had to put a battery bank on it and a whole bunch of things. So this thing has a battery built into it. So you're, all you got to do is charge it and you're ready to go. This is way easier. I can't wait to test this guy out. Right, so this one is called the Beacon XL from Spec5. 
So let's see, I think I figured out how to turn it on. So let's go ahead and see if I can turn this guy on. So this thing has a solar powered solar panel built into it to the side. There you go, there's mesh tastic right there. That's cool, I like the two tone, there's like a yellow in it. That's cool. All right, so this is literally plug and play. So this is ready to go. So I should be able to connect this to any device. So let me go ahead and uh, do that. This is going to connect to it. I'm guessing I'm going to have to pick the region. It says pair. I'm going to type in the numbers here. One, two, three, four, five, six. What? I need it. That was so easy. What the heck? That was by far the, the, that I've never. Okay, so that was plug and play. I didn't even have to set up the region. This thing is beast. Okay, this is definitely going to make it into the survival uh, tech uh, kit here. This is a mesh tastic device, has, so, has a solar panel on it, built in battery. This thing is pretty decently heavy, too. And I get, I, I can imagine that you could modify these antennas as well. This is so cool. This might, I think this is my new favorite mesh tastic device, but I'm, I'm gonna, I, I need to look at this one. This one looks like an iPhone. Like, look at this thing. So we're gonna test out this one next. So this is called the uh, Spec Five Beacon XL. So I can't wait to do a more in-depth video at some point. Or has even thing here for it. This is cool. That was so easy. All right, so let's go figure out what this guy is. All right, we figured it out. So it's called the Spec 5 Spectre. And uh, so what it looks like is that it has a mesh tastic device on the back. So something similar like to here. Something similar like this. But, so I, the thing is I noticed there's a switch here. So I turn the switch on. And I notice that the back turns on. So it's kind of like turning on one of these. And let's see here. Oh, okay. So there it goes. So it's on. So the front, I don't know how to turn this on though. There's one button on it. It's right here. Okay, I figured it out. So the battery is dead on the front. So this is two like separate devices, but in one, which makes sense. So once this thing is charged enough, I'll go ahead and get back to you. So I'm at, I think I'm at enough power now. It's saying welcome. This is cool. So you know this is like one of those other standalone devices where it looks like you don't need a phone because it's all built into one. Welcome. So this is my first time turning it on, by the way. So you get to experience it with me. I got like the staples here. All right, so it looks like a looks like a mini Android phone. Do I slide up? Oh, there's a whole bunch of apps. Spec 5. There's a camera on this and everything. Calculator. It's like a mini Android tablet. I can't get it. I gotta try to get the screen to focus here. Um, it looks like it's cool. Well, it looks like it's just. It looks like it's Android. I wonder if I can do voice text. I'm just gonna hit a whole bunch of random stuff. So I'm assuming that they already connected these two together. So let's go ahead and turn on <laughs> message. That is, this is all right. So this might be my favorite mesh tastic device now. This is cool. So it's two basically two separate devices put into one, and it's basically like a mini Android. I wonder if you can just like, I wonder if you could download YouTube to this. And I have my YouTube channel up on this device. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about some free. I can literally watch my YouTube videos on here. That's and so testing cool. And cybersecurity gadgets. So the way this guy, and uh, I might be able to war drive with this too. So, regardless, the mesh tastic works great. Like it's it, like it can handle it no problem. So this is like a mini Android tablet with a mesh tastic device connected to it. 
So right now, we're gonna focus. So that was the last message. So right now we're not connected to anything. So I will have to turn him on. Okay, that turns him on. And that this should connect in a moment. And then I'll be able to, yep, it connects. That's so fast. That's, this is great. This might be my favorite device now. So I, I can't wait to dive in deeper uh, and deep, deeper with this stuff. Also a side note, I was able to do a Discord call with it and it worked fine. Thank you, Spec5, for uh, sending me out these products here. I cannot wait to test them and actually do some uh, proper review videos on them. Dude, the thing I noticed right off the bat with this stuff is that it's like everything's ready to go. Like, you don't need to make a uh, solar-powered project. Um, everything's just like you, you want to buy something that's already put together and you want to go through the hassle. This is it. So I would definitely add this guy right here to my survival tech kit. Um, I'm definitely going to be adding that in a video at some point. Even this one too, with the touch screen and being able to have a dedicated mesh tastic device. So this is my new, because I have two dedicated mesh tastic devices. I have a T-Deck over there. And I got this guy right here, the uh, Spectre here. Really cool. And then the drone one's going to be really cool. So I, I'm pretty sure like this is just, uh, it has a mesh tastic device with a battery with a strap, which is really nice, and double antenna. Um, so I can't wait to get this up and test it. I'm also going to find a way to get it to work on the uh, other drone there that has a little bit different body style. But we'll figure it out. Um, definitely going to get have a lot of fun this year getting into Spec 5 on this channel. Really excited to work with them. And again, thank you so much for sending us out. I'm going to leave product links in the description. And remember, safety is an illusion. I'll see you guys in the next video.